G'day guys, Danny Kraken here with the next installment of Barn Finders. So, uh, we're here, we've got our invisible truck over there, it's just a set of wheels and an engine now. Um, we'll head inside, I have slept since the night before, so obviously the last mission we, uh, we went to the movie studio, which was quite cool, it was quite enjoyable. Um, creepy sort of, sort of feel to the whole, to the whole thing. I've um, got quite a bit of stuff to sell. Um, so, and we've got quite a bit of money as it stands, so I'm going to do the usual thing. I'm going to open the shop up, get this stuff sold, so we've got some money, plenty of money in the bank. Um, we currently still have four more things in storage, so we've got 21 items to sell, which is really good. Um, it's going to give us a pretty, pretty healthy, uh, healthy profit there. So, and then from there, we'll actually jump in here, and we'll see what we've got from Studley Rambler Comics Collection. Um, so that'll be the uh, the job that we go and do today. So um, usual deal, um, pretty much the same thing at the start of every episode. I did open this, didn't I? Yeah, people just taking this sweet ass time to get here. Um, usual thing, I will do all of this off camera, uh, get everything sold, and uh, yeah, we'll be back uh, once everything's sold and we've got a heap of money and ready to go. Surely love. My favourite guy so far. Turbo calf. <laughs> That's why, because he's just so happy. And then watch when I sell it. Love it. So I've just bought um, level 3 axe, level 3 shovel, and the level 3 lockpick as well. Uh, just while we've got a little bit extra money, so. I was just thinking, I haven't actually seen um, Agent Agent in a little while. He hasn't been to my shop the last two times, I don't think. Or last time and this time. So I wonder where he's gone. I wonder if Bobby Bobby Gray finally got to him. Chili Love's still here. No one wants her just yet. But I'm confident someone will want her. <laughs> nice try. Oh, speak of the devil. Hmm. Nice shop. Yeah, cheers, bud. Hmm. Buy something or get out. I don't know where your bloody alien is. Besides, I'm not going to knock on him. He spends a fortune in this shop. So, hmm. I don't know. I'd, you ask me that every time, and I have no idea what you mean. You, like, I've got zombie arms on, on the thing. Is that not special enough for you? Come on, man. How about this? How about uh, Shirley Love? Huh? Probably get a rude. <laughs> Baba. Oof. Oh. Hey, man, Buck, she's all yours, my man. You go and enjoy that now. Twice. Okay, so that Miko play unit that we assembled, this is what I'm talking about. You make a heap of money off these things. 50, so it was on for 500 we're getting 725 bucks for that and it, it didn't cost us almost anything really that is so those things are really worth doing do <laughs> <laughs> you got it yeah the icon haul yours turbo love you dude Okay, so we've just got one more thing to sell, which is a zombie arm, or a zomb zomb key arm, I think they call it. Um, everything else was sold. Make it, made a tidy profit, keeping in mind I spent about 2200 roughly on the upgraded axe, shovel, and lockpick. Um, and we started off around about four grand, I think four and a half grand. So Bobby Gray, fitting. So let's quickly sell this to him. Cool, nailed it. So it was on for 36, we're getting 52 for it. Cool, man. Bye, Bobby. Okay, cool. So that's done. Sold everything. We're sitting at 6,200. Yeah, that's closed. $6,241. <clears throat> I did spend about two grand. So we probably made roughly about $4,000 off that trip. Um, take away the bit of fuel that we needed, which is about. 350 I think so yeah we made a, a seriously tidy profit on that plus I also think um, well I put 
new I tried a few different walls and floors as well didn't I so I would have used a bit of money off that so yeah it's, it was it was definitely worthwhile doing that one um, so you can definitely make some good money those larger items are really good plus that was bolstered by the game console that we were, we were able to finish by finding that other joystick so any of those assembly jobs uh, make sure you get them done <coughs> as soon as you can excuse me and um, and get them in your shop to sell because you make a, a heap of money off them it's really good money but uh, yeah so let's stop mucking about let's get in here let's go to emails uh, studly rambler so here we go so this barn was owned by a Miller family they took a piece of an old mine to their land as their own but luckily for all Americans they never found anything <laughs> but old drunk nuts Boris Miller had something valuable comics can you sell me if you find any uh, there is a special beard wars event there hurry up Okay, so we'll accept that. So it's a bid wars job, which means we're going to need money for it. God, I hope I didn't jump the gun by spending two grand on stuff. Okay. Here it is. What? Oh, you're joking. We need $8,000 plus just to go there. Wow. That gives you an idea. Okay. Um, hmm. I'll be back okay so what I ended up having to do I tried to reload but because I'd already accepted the job it had resaved so essentially what I ended up having to do is go to barn hub and go and visit some of the places we've already been to pick up more items now it was it was quite good that I had to do it because it gave me a bit of a um, insight into what actually happens when you go and do that. So I'll quickly explain. Um, so, so for example, you want to go to the red barn. So you click on the red barn. You can see it actually costs nothing to go back there. So once you've paid your initial travel fee to go there, you can go there as many times as you want for free. The catch is you can only go to one place per day. So if you were to go to the red barn now and hit travel, you can go there. There will be items there for you to collect. It comes up with the item uh, counter again on the right hand side there, that blue bar that ticks down as you pick up the, the yellow collectible items. Um, they're just laid out very easily for you to find. So there's nothing buried, there's nothing hidden in any drawers or doors or anything like that. It'll just be sitting on the floor. Um, and there's usually about five to six items per place. So they're random. Um, I went to the Red Barn twice, Auntie Mary's tw once. No, so I, I did the Red Barn twice, Bridge Storage twice. So Red Barn twice, Bridge Storage twice, Auntie Mary's twice, and the Otis Ranch once. And that gave me enough uh, items to make 10,000, or, you know, to, to end up at $10,318. So I would highly suggest. Uh, when you get to this point that you don't do what I did and spend all your money on other things, go and do the Rick Ro uh, River Rock Barn first because you'll have more than enough money. If you've done it the same way as me, you'll have more than enough money uh, to go there without having to do what I did. But anyway, it's, it's a good little learning curve. So you can go back to these places, all of these places now you can go back to for free once you've been there the first time. Um, but you can only go to one place per day. Then you've got to come back, empty your items, go to sleep, get up and do it again the next day. So it took me yeah, about six in-game days to get enough money. The reason I, I sort of wanted to go for a bit extra is because it says 8,000 plus. So I'm a bit worried it's gonna push us over eight and it costs 400 bucks to get there. So anyway, we, we got there in the end, bit of mucking about, but it is what it is. So we're gonna do this one and we're gonna travel. So let's hope we can get away with this one for about, for about eight grand. I'm hoping we can get away for it without having to go too much over. Okay, cool old looking barn, American flag, miracle. Bam, down, down. Hey, I see a little Mr. Fox sitting on the edge there with his cup of tea. River Rock Barn, Miko special event. Okay, so here's hoping. Oh, that's really nice, that. That looks awesome. Very nice. What do you got to say, Billy? Yes, I have heard there is a mine nearby. They didn't find anything, but I reckon when we when we get this, we can go into the mine and we might find something pretty sweet in there. 
Let's do cool. Gotta be go higher this bet. Like a five thousand pen this one, huh? No way you gotta win this. Oh you, you watch woman. Game. I don't know what is happening here. Uh, okay, ready for some action? Yeah, I think so. I've brought enough money, so well I hope I have. Well, no time like the present, so let's see. Oh, I'm actually a little nervous. Here we go. What's it starting at? Three? Okay, I've got 3,250 right here. 3,500. 3,750 right here. Come on, baby. 3,750. Oh, man. Here we go. 4,750 right here. 5,750. 6,250 right here. Come on. Bow out. Damn. It's got to go to eight, surely. It has to go to eight. 7,250 right here. Woo! Okay, there we go. All right. So it said eight grand plus. We got away with seven thousand two hundred fifty. So hey, I'm more than happy with that because it means we've still got two and a half grand left in the bank. So fantastic. So as usual, I'm just gonna have a quick look out here. I thought I saw something flash on the floor there, but I'm just gonna have a quick look out here because sometimes after you win these things, it spawns stuff out here for you to collect. I don't think so. All right, cool. Let's head in. So look, let's have a look at this place. My sprawling mountains, something over there, don't know if we can get there. So we'll go in here first, clear that out. Let's get the old trusty old axe out, smash everything up. Uh, keeping an eye out for digging sites as well. Nothing up there. Might as well grab all this stuff. We paid for it, so. Okay. Oh, here we go. First thing, the Roy De Roy Deva Roy Deva chair. Let's open her up. You'll never find my secret bunker. Oh God! Wow. Days to U.S. secret s space fleet arrival. Look at him. I take your hat. Sweet. Tap plays with material and colour contrast in charming way. It always looks distinctive and timeless. It does. I'm going to take it. So, what's this? You'll never find my secret bunker. Very interesting. He's got that all over the place. What was... Foxalit me... No. And Fox is sitting up there, isn't he? Cool. We'll take that. I'm going to smash all these up. Because we already know... I don't know what that was. Um, we can smash all these. Although, I'm not going to smash any more of them just in case because we probably could have used that to climb up. Oh, there's a fucking ladder right here. <laughs> okay, let's quickly check in here. So, a secret bunker. Interesting. Fox will let me know. Fox will let me know. Another chair. Take that. Uh, cool. Anything in here we can take? Some trash, we'll take that. Take that there. Uh, I want that good stuff, I want that yellow stuff that gives me the money. Trash under there. Oh, nothing else. Yep, we can take that. Cool. Oh, I saw green fireball on the sky. They're watching me, they're watching me. Dude, this guy. This guy was paranoid, man. Tin foil hat wearing dude. Anything in here? What about in here? Get out of the way. <laughs> okay, anything hanging up? Oh! Sweet. That needs a repair, so we can definitely do that. We've got more than enough stuff to repair at the moment. So that's easy. Okay, let's head upstairs and see what we got up here. Fox is on the watch. They're watching me. So we've heard. I'm just going to check over here. Yep. Yeah. Now, do we have to jump that or can we... No, I think we can just walk around, can't we? What's up? Whoa! Whoa! 
Fox, you better let him know. Fox, you... You, you gonna let him know? Okay. Yep. Yes. Hopefully there's something in here that was worth that jump. <laughs> You'll never find my secret bunker. I wonder how secret this secret bunker is actually going to be. Whether it's going to be one of them things. Oh yeah, I forgot to get that. Here. Cool tractor. Let's go drive it. Yep. Alright, so let's head out here first. Anything outside? Never find my secret bunker. Could that be a clue as to where the secret bunker is? It's heading up there. Okay, so I don't want to go up there just yet. I want to make sure I've grabbed everything else first. So let's go around the back. This is cool though. I love this setting. I love the sort of the mountains. Look at that. That is amazing. What a place to live. Far out. That is awesome. I'd love to live in a place like this. Okay, we've got a digging spot. Ooh, oh, that's for the, uh, uh, what do you call it? The Cosmonaut, I'm pretty sure. It effectively clean all kinds of floors. It's small and lightweight design, still has space for a 5 litre bag, which means you can clean even more. <laughs> Maybe not then. I thought it was the, uh, the breathing tank for the Cosmonaut. Nothing under there. No. Stuff over here, UFO activity area. It was, we saw some. Grab all this. Cool. Anything around the side here. Doesn't look like it. That little secret path, nope. Okay. Anything going on with the tractor? We can take it. That's so exciting. I want to... No. Product range offer, power, innovation, economy, and superb value for money. The McCorn tractor, 1500 bucks. Sweet. So cool. Okay. Let's head up and see if we can find the secret bunker. Don't want to miss anything on the way. <laughs> Do you reckon that's going to be the secret bunker? Let's have a look. Smash all this up. This is anything hiding. Whoa. Okay, I can smash the rocks. And the path is clear. Look at this. And it's it's a car. It's a car steering wheel. Oh, wicked! We found the secret bunker, boys and girls, and everybody. Take all this stuff. Power sander. Cool. I can hear. I can hear things. That doesn't sound or look too good. Huh, try to find key cards, you stupid aliens. Oh. Ah. Okay, shut that off. Now we can open that. Okay, what have we got in here? Looks like we can probably go down that. No, we can carry that. Okay. I just want to check behind here. So there's anything back here we can grab. Yep, there is. Alien, go home. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. They called me insane. That's why I've been here for more than a week. It's just me and Mr. Fox now. Oh. That was a lady. My bad. My bad indeed. Hey. Cool. Comic book. Yeah, I thought it was a dude. That's that's my bad. 
I probably completely misread that in the uh, in the email too. It probably said that somewhere. Whoopsie daisy. Okay, so we have keycard. Nope. So we're going to use keycard for this one. What? Okay. Uh. Hmm. I got the keycard, didn't I? Or is that going to be for somewhere somewhere else? I can hear stuff too. It's driving me nuts. It's inside. Wait. Can I just smash through this? Oh, there. Okay. So we've got to actually aim at the... At the keycard bit. Right. Okay. This is like a storage room. Oh, that's cool. Man, this is a pretty big joint. Nice. Oh, box full of twine. Yeah, let's get our torch on so we can see what we're doing here. Grab all this. Another power tool. Oh, what's this? Hellstorm Hell, Hell backpack. Designed for the American forestry and control burn specialist, this backpack is the epitome of flame throwing technology. Sweet. So that sounds like it's going to be for the um, the flamethrower build. Which is exciting. I really want to build that one. That's cool as. Anything up there? Anything up there? No, this is all just repair stuff, which we don't really need. Ah, there we go. Me and Mr. Fox are developing a new system of key cards so that we can protect our food, our beer, and our comics. Them. <laughs> what? What just happened? Why did I get thrown back there? That was super weird. Whoa. Okay. So she was, yeah, so she's sort of, sweet, we'll take that. Um, lots of power tools around here, which is good. I think they're worth quite a bit of money. Um, oh, that's the lens. That I think that means we can complete the camera now. Cool. We should make a ton of money off this one. A lot of stuff. Um, yeah, so she's sort of got the relationship with Mr. Fox that, um, yeah, I need to kick out for the other place. Um, she, it's, she's, she sounds a little, a little crazy, a little nuts. Um, her and Mr. Fox sort of doing their own thing. Uh, wait. Okay, so this one's going to be for the other, the other room. So it's going to be for this one. There we go. Aha. Uh -huh. That's what was blocking that door, so we can open that one now. And interesting to hear they've been developing a new keycard system. So what does that mean? Is that just because they've hidden them in different rooms? So it's going to be diff more difficult for the aliens to work it out? They didn't count on me, though. Look at this. Judgment Day. Expand your gas storage and fueling options. Made out of high-grade steel and welded construction. So is that going to be for the flamethrower too? Or is that going to be possibly for the cosmonaut? I'm not sure. We'll find out. Okay, so that's everything in here. Now, I don't have another keycard though, do I? So, interesting, interesting, interesting. Is there another wall that I can break perhaps? Go into. No, not there. Okay. I don't feel there's going to be something else in here, though. Nothing there. Um. Hmm. 
cool bunker set up though. Then I'll see out here. Wait, can I take that back out? No. I definitely can't use this at all, can I? Bugger. Can't smash that in. Um. Hmm. There's no switches anywhere that I've got a. I've got a switch or anything like that. Doesn't look like it. Can't see any cables running. Because normally if there's a switch, there's cable. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, that's that one. Uh, nothing in there. If I re-switch that, will that turn that... Okay, so it turns that back on. I wonder if that does anything. You know, maybe I have to have the power running now for it to... For it to do something. No, it's still nothing. Okay, okay. Um... Hmm. Okay, we're going to go back out because I'm pretty sure there was another section we could go up around here. Who the hell put these rocks back? Um, I'm pretty sure we can go up here. So there might be another way to actually get in. Well, this is going to go to the mine side, I reckon. Ooh, you buried a pallet trolley. We'll take it. Yeah, so this is the mine. Sweet. Get loads of stuff. Yeah, see that, th those are the ones, like that one there, that didn't count towards the item count. So it's, um, it's good to have those. I don't have the key. Damn. Can I just smash it in? Looks like I'll probably come out this way. That's the case. Right, okay, well, uh, I'm going to head back in and I'm going to keep looking around and we'll come back once I've worked this one out. So I'll see you shortly. Okay, found it. So it was actually, I had to jump up on these pipes in this, uh, in this room in here. So opposite here, in this room that we opened up with the three big water tanks in it. Jump up on here, jump up on here, jump up on here. And it's in this little lockbox, just uh, floating in midair or stuck in the cobwebs, I suppose. White key card. Day 75. There is proof that our planet has been and still continues to be visited by extraterrestrial life. But until we are able to capture and study them, the question will remain. Do aliens really exist and why do they need so much moonshine? Good questions. All right. Hey, cool. Look at this. This is cool. Take that table. Take those ciggies. Not here. <laughs> oh, that's great. Perfect. Where is that projector? There it is. Okay, so we'll grab that. Day 113. This bunker leads to my family mine. Grandma always told Dad that all that carbon dioxide would melt our brains like pudding. When this war is over, Mr. Fox and I are going to open this mine once again. Okay, so we'll get through all this. The Mr. Fox was like her... Her saving grace, her friend, her partner in crime, whatever, whatever you want to call it, but now he's just going to be another item on my shelf for sale. And she's just a straight up skeleton. Hmm, there's a lot of doors in here. Can I take this? No. Oh, oh, man, this place is big. Okay, so we've got, so that looks like a red key card. I'm wondering if that's what the colors are. Oh, sweet, we can take this whole vending machine. So we do have to smash all of these because one of these was holding a key card last time. Take that samurai turtle. I'm gonna smash all of these, all of them up. Just in case, yeah, so it looks like it's the purple one there. 
We've got a yellow one. This just straight up opens. So we'll get get in here and find out what's uh, what's going on in the shower. Valuable trash, someone's coat or a towel. Uh, anything else in here? Oh. Want to buy stuff? We have stuff. Barn Finders Limited. Yeah, so that's, that is us. So, Uncle Billy rocks. <laughs> so, I'm not really sure what that, um... Ooh, that sort of looks like a thing that pulls out, but I don't think so. Maybe not. Whoa. Uh, okay, I think that's everything from in here. Yep. Uh... I think this is the one that we've got. Yeah, so the color does determine... Oh, all right. I'm just going to quickly run in here, though. Because this one's just open. Uh, sweet. We'll take the, the base, acoustic base. Always smash up all the items. To make sure there's uh, nothing hiding in there. So there's something up there. Not just twine. Anything in here. Sweet! That's cool. I like that. Get out of here. Smash all this up. Can we take the flag? No. Nothing on there. Smash that up. Get rid of that. Take that. Cool. There's quite a bit of stuff in here. And in there. Du, du, du. She was ready, man. Like, she, she was prepped. Ready to go. There was, uh, there was three, three bunk beds in here, I think. Um, so that's at least six people she could have fit in. Smash all this up. Da, 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 da. Okay, so we need a green one for that. We need a purple one for that. We've been in there, so we opened this one. So let's check this out in here. Well, look at this, man. I see them in my dreams. There's the red one. God. Yeah, so by this point she had completely lost her mind waiting for the space fleet that never turned up. All these photos on the ground. Look at all these photos. Different sightings. Different evidence, I guess she was considering. Ugh, you found it, but you'll never know it's for kitchen room. <laughs> God. This woman is certifiable. Oh, we can take all of these photos. Holy crap, man. Did I check in here? Did I check all these? Close that door. So much stuff in here. What are these here? Different things, yep, yeah, look at that, there we go. 1983 UFO, turn that off so we can see them. My pigs, 1973, being abducted, 73, that's out the back of the ranch, yep, so is that one. Oh, that's in the mine shaft, see? Naked alien, there's Bobby Gray, Bobby Gray again. UFO over the barn, awesome, very cool, so we're gonna take all these. Make money off everything. Uh, they want to steal my comic. Well, I'm here to take your comic now. And I don't know if it's technically stealing because I bought the property, so doesn't that mean I own everything within it? See them in my dreams, want to believe. Go home. No doubt Spaghetti Monster, what is this? Is behind everything. Is behind everything. Is behind. Okay, no doubt, Spaghetti Monster is behind everything. Interesting. 
Look at all this. So that's the the barn hub map. UFO, alien. So we know that one. Who's that? Oh, what's that? Sorry. That's a cool one. Alien in the dumpster. That's probably me. Oh, look at that. It's posing. <laughs> uh, that's good. Just chilling by the campfire. Who's in the porta potty? Oh, look at that. Close the door. Have some decency. Ducting. Oh, that's an alligator. That's at the Otis Ranch. Ducting the alligator. Bobby Gray. One of the uh, things. And that's the Red Barn. You'll find the Red Barn. That's quite cool. And that was, I think, that was accurate to the locations of them on Barn Hub as well. So that may have given us some insight into the future uh, levels, future maps, which is quite cool. I like that. Uh, right, well, I think that's everything in here. We've got two key cards, so we can head out. Uh, right, so one of them, we don't have the purple one. We've got the red one, which is in here, and we've got the green one, which is here. So let's go here first. There we go. Cool. All uh, right, so here's the kitchen. The spaghetti monster. Okay. Anything up here? Nope. Anything in here? Take that. Yoink. Take the knife set. Take the toaster. Take the coffee machine. Man, this is going to be... This was worth having the eight grand, so we're going to make a fortune off this place. Ah, there we go. Okay, so she's completely lost her mind by this point. Although saying that, we, we don't really, we can't say that because we know that the aliens do exist. We've seen them. So, I don't know. Although, I'm curious as to what she means by Mr. Fox was vomiting and had diarrhea. Oh, sh stuff on the floor. They're watching me here. Um, because he's a taxidermied fox, so he, sh he wouldn't eat. Know what I mean? It's a bit weird. Right, uh, purple room. Let's go check that one. I kind of want to hold off on the red room because that looks like it goes into the mine. So I want to do everything else first. They want to steal my comic. Okay, so it's, it's another bathroom. Grab all that. Take that. What you got in here? Photos or posters or whatever they are, little DVDs, wet floor, caution. I could sell that, give me that. Check in the toilets. Hey, the comic. Look at this. We found it. What is it, Hyperman and the Cow? <laughs> A Millennium Edition comic book. It displays the first appearance of the cow back in June 1948. Brilliant. We'll take it. Okay, so I think that's everything from in here. And now we'll head into what I'm assuming is the mine. Here we go. Cool. Where the hell did that go? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, ooh. Spooky feels. So there was an alien in here. Or there was a photograph of an alien. On one of her walls, so I wonder if we're going to see an alien in here. 
So we still haven't found the golden toilet paper either, so we still got to look for that. What is the? Oh, it's the Cosmo Cosmonaut backpack. There you go. There we go. Aliens beware when you're not on the scene. Space won't ever be the same after you're done. Blast off to infinite possibilities. Sweet. We must be getting pretty close to uh, to the Cosmonaut now. Is that saying all of the... Oh, a key. That'll be for the... Probably for the gate to get out of here. However, looks like we can still go down here. Smash this out. We can. Yes. There's a golden toilet paper. Whoo! Whoop. Some more first person platforming. Nailed it. Oh, something. Can we actually get over there? I don't think so. There's no. Oh, wait. Maybe. <gasps> Damn it. Uh, okay. I wonder if I can. I'm going to try. Not good, mate. Uh, it, it looks like a ledge that I can get on, but maybe I don't think there's actually anything over there. Yes, okay. So, realistically, that's everything on this level. We've, we've got all the items. This would be... Yep, that was the key to open that. Uh, we've dug up everything. We found all the key cards. We found her secret bunker. Um, so, I think... We're pretty much done, and we can head back to the shop. But we got a ton of stuff from this one, so we should make a very, very tidy profit, uh, which is fantastic. So, yeah, we'll, we'll head back. I also found out as well, it's taken me ages to find this out. Most of you guys probably already knew, but um, I'll show you what I'm what I'm talking about here. When you go back to the, the truck, you go as if you're going to leave. So you say yes. And then what it does, so it'll load this up, it brings up that little screen that tells you if you've got everything here. So what you can do, if you don't have everything, you can actually click back to map and you'll go straight back into uh, the level and you can continue looking. So it's, it's a cool little way to make sure that you've actually got everything before you leave. So if I had known that with the golden toilet paper at the... Uh, the bull event, I could have turned around or gone back to map and gone and found the, the golden toilet paper, but that's okay. It's not the end of the world. Okay. Unload everything. Thank you, Uncle Billy. Now, let's get all the shelves stocked first. Nothing there, nothing there. So we do have some stuff. We've only got two more things in storage, which are probably big items. So we'll have to sell some stuff first. Uh, now, whoops, what do we actually have? We've got three broken, one dirty, and three assembly items. So let's get them done. So let's get the dirty item done first, because that's the quickest and easiest one. It's the guitar. Okay, so let's spray this bad boy down. There we go. So that one's done. Uh, let's do the repairs. Woo, big sucker. So we'll get these repaired and then we'll do the assembly items and we'll see if we've actually managed to finish. Come on. Oh, pain in the ass. Serious? Come on. Okay. Tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 tap. Uh, and two there. Oh, and one there. Uh, whoop, there. Beautiful. Hit T on that, so I'm not, not going to bother bringing that all the way back over here because it's a pain in the ass to move. Uh, this one, it's got a few repair points on it, easy to carry though, a sweet tractor in there. Okay, yeah, so we'll get this done. Ok, 
Okay, that one's done. And we've got one more. After repairing, always make sure you just hurl the unit on the ground afterwards. Oh, how am I going to get this through? Look at this bloody thing. This is sweet. Can I just set this up in the shop though and make money off it? That would make more sense, wouldn't it? That was really easy to get through actually. Oh, damn it. Go back. This will give your finger a workout. The right clicking. This took a heap of stuff to repair. But we got loads, so it's not a problem. Okay, and now we'll do the assembly parts, see if we've been able to finish anything off. Pretty sure we have. I'm pretty sure this will finish off the camera from memory. Let's see. Uh, yep, ready to assemble, so we'll hit that. Very cool. So a 16mm sound camera uh, with electric drive, same model that was used at Miko Studios for Dog Cops 3. Cool. So we can sell that now, so we should make a nice nice pretty penny off that one. Uh, what's next? Cosmonaut backpack. I think this is the first thing we've got for the Cosmonaut. Oh no, second thing, that's right, we've got the helmet. What are we missing now? One part, which is just obviously the full suit. So we'll find that in uh, one of the levels coming up, I'm sure. And then the backpack, which is for the flamethrower. Sweet. So we're missing two more parts, which will be the gun and the tanks. Awesome. So that's everything there. I'll just see if I can put anything else on the shelves. I don't think so. No, because I need more big storage. Oh, yeah, I could put that up. No, okay, that's everything there. Uh, whoops, and then we'll just go in here. We will s complete this job, pack and send for 450 buck. And might as well run through this and get this done as well. Okay, so we're only 13 away from the NASCAR looking skin, which we should be able to get in the next one. Let's keep showing up that we've got new ones, but I think it's just these here that are coming in. So, yeah, I think that was it. Comics, so you really need four more pages of the comics, and then we finish that, which maybe gives you an indication as to how many more levels there are. That's grayed out, so we can't look at that now, which is, that's fine. That's not a problem. But, uh, yeah. So, anyway, guys, that actually brings us to the end of this episode. Um, so, hope you enjoyed it. Um, the next episode will start off with some sales. We've got $3,672 in the bank at the moment. We've got 17 items on the shelves and another six in storage, and some of those are pretty big and should be quite expensive. So, fingers crossed, uh, we should end up with quite a bit of money after we've done this sale. Yes. Um, but yeah, thanks these for coming out. Really appreciate it. Um, if you like this one, hit like for me. Um, it really helps me out. Let's me know you're still enjoying the series to keep it on the channel. Um, comment down below what you like, what you don't like. Um, and hit subscribe if you're new. But uh, yeah, as always, till next time, have a good one. Catch ya.